Hello everyone and welcome to the next review in my education app series. I'm Victor Fitzgerald and I'm going to be walking you through iStudies Pro, the iOS planner app for students and teachers. I've been using iOS or iStudies Pro for a number of years to help me keep track of what is going on in my day and keep track of the assignments and material that I need to do as a teacher. I started using iStudies Pro a few years ago during my master's and school administration program and have since then recommended it to several students both in my graduate programs and in the K-12 education setting. I like iStudies Pro because it has all the features you need to be a very well-rounded planner for an educational purpose. What you're going to notice in the app when you first start it up is that there are three columns. The first is for your schedule. Okay. Your schedule will show things from your calendar as well as any upcoming assignments and courses that you have coming. The assignments tab has information about upcoming assignments and when they are due. And your calendar is the last at last column and you can see how busy you are and roughly how much you have to get done by simply looking at the number of dots underneath each day. Where you want to go first when you start the iStudies Pro app is to the planner. Okay. Once you're in the planner you're going to be presented a screen that looks something like this. When you are in this screen your first task is to set and define the semesters that you will have during the coming year. You do that by quickly selecting the plus button, adding your semester start and end dates, and titling it. Uh, I already have a current semester in, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on that semester. Now, once you have your semester set up, you're going to want to head, want to go ahead and add your courses in. So I'm going to add a couple of courses in here for you just so you can see what those courses are like when you have them set up in the system. You can color code them, you can set a number of things for them uh, just to make sure that you know which course is which. Now as soon as you have a course in the system what you're going to want to do is go ahead and add a schedule. So when does this class meet um, and you're going to want to go into a regular class you can change its icon you can name it, you can set the times and dates where that class will meet. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're also going to start adding assignments as you get them. Now you can do that from here within the planner or you can do it from within the app interface that starts with. So if I add it from here it will add it directly, directly into this test course. Um, I can set a due date, priority, and uh, notification if I need it. I can add a partner to my work uh, if I would like to which will allow us to if we both use iStudies Pro keep track of all of the assignments uh, that we have as a group within the app itself. Okay now that I have an assignment in and a course in I'm gonna jump over to my assignments and you can see I have all of my completed assignments showing or I can switch to my current tasks and things that I have to get done today or in the near future. When I switch back to the overview, uh, what you're going to see is that I have access to um, those upcoming assignments. Um, the assignments tab will only show the ones for the current week. So if I jump over to the next week, you will see that additional assignment in and class for that day. One of the nice things about iStudies Pro is the ability to add your instructors into the system and then if you need to go ahead and email your instructor you can do so directly within the app like so. I think that iStudies Pro is a complete package for you to use for planning your own education and keeping track of assignments and classes that you are taking. Um, I recommend it very highly for students who need a little bit more organization and want something that will tie in to already existing tasks and to-do and calendar applications. If you have any questions about this app or how I use it in my classes or with my students, uh, please feel free to let me know. 
And as always, stay tuned to victorfitzgerald.com for more information. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.